this spiritual legacy which you represent Islam in Norway it is only a foundation it is a spiritual foundation but you have the resources of this society to get the tools that you need to participate and to win to participate and to win and in this regard you should add on to the promise that you just made to the sheikh that each of you should learn how to develop a career plan and why is this important because our enemies our enemies who have leverage over us on the battlefield our enemies who have invaded our countries our enemies who are corrupting our children our enemies who are calling us terrorists one of the things that gives them leverage it is not the foundation it is that they have a career plan and if you fail to plan by default you plan to fail so brothers and sisters the spiritual foundation is wonderful and the message is evident but you have to plan if you want to win the companions of the Prophet وسلم, and the three generations their ambition was not to go to work for non-Muslims I want all of you to promise that you will go home tonight or tomorrow or the next day and find out what is a career plan how do I write a complete career plan where do I find somebody that can help me develop a career plan because if you do that then it's over it's over because not only do we have the spiritual legacy but we also have the contemporary tools to win and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that this generation will do it I want all of you to promise that you will go home tonight or tomorrow or the next day and find out what is a career plan how do I write a complete career plan where do I find somebody that can help me develop a career plan because if you do that then it's over it's over because not only do we have the spiritual legacy but we also have the contemporary tools to win and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that this generation will do it and I agree with the Sheikh this is a phenomena but I'm not surprised because Islam itself has produced phenomena over and over and it's not surprising that it's young men because Usama bin Zaid radiallahu an the Sheikh he can re re relate this better than me he was 16 years old when the Prophet Sallallahu asked him, Oh Usama, do you know where your horse is standing? He's standing in a place where your father was martyred. And one day you will be standing here also and you will be victorious. SubhanAllah. Two years later, Usama was there facing the Romans. And guess who was victorious? It was Usama. There's 50,000 young Muslims who have in their heart the love and the discipline and the tools of the first Usama. You guys got to study that one. So brothers and sisters, go from here and do what the Sheikh has challenged you to do. But also go from here and find out what it is to build and write a career plan. And when you have your plan, plan your work and work your plan. And Allah is with you. Allah will bless you. And inshallah, your non-Muslim colleagues and co-workers and neighbors, inshallah, they will be following you. This is what we pray for. No one ever imagined that in Oslo, that Islam has never been in Oslo, that this big gathering of Muslims who say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad rasulullah are gathering to get today in the heart of Oslo, to pronounce Tawheed and to pronounce that Muhammad is the final messenger. You should be proud that you are part of this Ummah, the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You should be proud that you are a Muslim. You should be proud 
that your prophet is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. You should be proud that when you die, you will go to Jannah. And you should be proud that when you die, you will be saved from the fire of hell. These days, I always smile because I feel that the victory is happening to our ummah and is coming sooner, not later. Wallahi, I testify by Allah that despite what is happening in Syria, I am very, very happy. Despite what is happening in Burma, I am very, very happy because our ummah is waking up and the legacy of our ummah is coming soon. Inshallah, by the will of Allah Jalla wa'ala, you young people, you are going to bring the legacy of the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam until the light of Allah Jalla wa'ala will cover Norway, until the light of Allah Jalla wa'ala will cover Sweden, until the light of Allah Jalla wa'ala will cover the whole Europe, until the light of Allah Jalla wa'ala will cover the whole globe. And who is bringing the light of Allah Jalla wa'ala? Is those young people. Imagine, wallahi, no one imagine, can imagine that 14 years, 15 years, 16 years, 17 years, the sisters, they are leaving the desires of the dunya in order to work for Allah Jalla wa'ala. Seriously, when we make takbir, we should make takbir from our hearts. Because Allah Jalla wa'ala is the greatest and we should be thankful to Allah Jalla wa'ala. Grateful to Allah Jalla wa'ala all of the time because he made us part of this ummah and he made this deen so powerful deen that it can penetrate any society and it can cover any society.